Harvey and I'm standing in front of my Color Tempo show at Gallery 151 in New York City. Come take a look. Contrary to popular belief, I do not paint miniskirts. I paint something like this. A tight woven, high quality tuxedo shirt donated by a patron. I prefer the tight weave and the cotton because the lint doesn't come off into my paintings. And I wipe my hands off on the shirt so that I don't have to use a rag, which will add lint to the painting. Many people have asked what my inspiration has been for this dancer series, and I, all I can say is I don't know. I've always loved to watch dance. I love to actually do it myself. All I, all I know is that dance makes you feel good. For example, one of the movements by Michael Namer of Gallery 151 on the opening night did one of these very simple gestural moves. Do a, go along, do this with me. Swing back and forth, back and forth. It won't be long before you start feeling good. But seriously, I started to fine tune my interest in dance at Virginia Commonwealth University where I started to take dance classes. And I did it not to be a performer. Um, I wasn't interested in that at all. I just had a good interest in the art of it and watching it and actually doing it. But I, I really just started to come into that at that time. Then I came into New York and met a lot of dancers dancing in nightclubs and they would come and pose for me. And then after college, I met Paul Taylor because my art studio was right above his. And I met him in the elevator and said, can I draw your dancers? And of course, he said yes. I was there for two years every day drawing these perfect bodies, leaping and, you know, just lifting these just muscles everywhere. It was an incredible experience that I really, really can't, you know, can't even replace that one. In order to get this very contemporary look on these panels, I work with something very, very different. The most most artists don't work on. It's an aluminum-based product um, that is two very thin sheets of aluminum with a polyethylene core. And that plastic core absorbs a lot of impact that would happen that if it were a full solid sheet of metal that would cave in, the plastic absorbs any shock. So you would just get a pit onto the surface. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but it's a lot safer. But the material is is quite nice to work on it. It's very, very smooth. I wouldn't wish any artist to work on it because it is kind of difficult. You really have to paint. You can't use any of these faking uh, ways like scumbling and having the grain of the canvas blending your paint for you. You really have to paint on this material. So I, uh, it does take quite a long time, but um, it gives me this very, very smooth contemporary look that I'm after. And if there's anything that happens to it, um, it's a lot more stable than canvas or wood. Canvas and wood swell, they contract and swell with, um, contract and, and expand with humidity and the air temperature and all the, the humidity in the air. Um, whereas metal is a lot more stable and the oil paint surface is less likely to crack off it because it's not moving and shifting as much. So I love working on this surface. And if anything happens, I've had paintings fall off the wall wet. I hose them down with water because water is going to mix with oil and got the debris off it fine. And knowing that the, nothing's going to happen to the metal. So I, uh, I love working with it, and, uh, but it does take a little bit of skill, a lot more than norm. But it's, it does lend itself to this very, very, very smooth contemporary look. This was a wonderful model to work with. Her name is Billy Shakes. She's a singer, choreographer, dancer, musician, performer, just everything rolled into one package. And she just is very creative. I met her 
by jumping on to the stage when she was performing one night and she passed me the microphone and I don't sing, so I kind of imitated lip syncing, but that didn't work. But anyway, that's where we met. I was totally mesmerized by their whole performance and show and the interaction with the video and their costumes and their movement. And um, the energy that they put into their show was just mesmerizing. So I asked her to come in and pose and this is my first painting based on her. And I'm in the background, I wanted to give that feeling of what she was trying to do in her performance, as well as spotlighting her with um, these lights coming through the painting. So there's movement, there's dance, she's got this background that echoes uh, her being on stage, but also um, the background is faceted, like all the studs she's wearing. So the reflection off of a little area like this are making these rectangles. There's a lot of very small rectangles going in. So, And in her performance, there was a lot of circular activity. And so I wanted to bring that into the piece. But I... I got to tell you, this is one of my most favorite models to work with. She can really move and very inspiring for me. I want to give you an idea of how long this thing took. <laughs> um, first of all, I start with two layers for the background. So the whole piece is covered once with color. And because it's straight lines, straight lines are a little more tedious to do when you're hand doing them. None of this is mechanically done. It's all hand, hand painted. And then there's a second coating. Going into the figure, she has multiple layers. And I'd spend an awful lot of time to make it look like it took no time to do. So something like this little bracelet, the first coat was about five hours because if you go really tight up close to it, you'll see each one is almost like a little painting. So then there's a second coat and glazing and all that. But the same with all these, some of them 10 hours and you know, to study the area. But it's not really photorealism, even though people think it's photorealistic, it's not. Um, if you actually compare the photograph with the end, end painting, it's. I tend to idealize the figure quite a bit and the lighting and the body and, and um, accentuate certain things. So it's really, if you compare it, it's not true photorealism. Um, but anyway, it's, it does take a, quite a long time. This one took, until completion, a few months, just, just a tweaking. And at the last stage, I'll take off my contact lenses, is use my microscope eyes and get very, very close and see every little detail and blend everything, which really, that could take days, actually. Um, and then it's done. So. This is a painting of Stephen, who came in and posed for me in a, a wonderful, very different shirt that was cut um, very differently, where the pattern was here, and it was white panels on the side. So I love the shape of that 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 was making. So I made the background somewhat like that, where there's shapes of white and then the pattern draping around. And when he came in and did this position, his face went into this almost like Michelangelo looking profile. So I kind of pushed that and uh, idealized the shapes and faces quite a bit and uh, have uh, the painting of Stephen today. This is my painting of Olivia. She's one of the dancers that came to the opening of the Color Tempo show here. She was wonderful to work with, and what spot inspired me to paint her was her very long flowing hair and subtle movements to her body while she danced. It was slightly innocent, so I felt like throwing her in a field of flowers. And it resulted in the painting you see here.
Oh, I have a model waiting for me in my studio, so I've got to go. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the show.